Hello! Uh, I recently learned that I think uh, my whatever antivirus program I have really doesn't like OBS. Because <laughs> as soon as I closed out, like OBS was using up like 50% of my CPU. And like as soon as I close out of the antivirus thing, it drops down to a nice like 28% or so. So I go from like 100% CPU usage down to like 70. It's great. Um, so if that's been the reason why everything's been lagging in the last few streams, then I'm going to be very sad. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to be quietly monitoring my CPU usage. Oh, well, I say lagging. And it appears VTube Studio is having a bit of a rough time as well, huh? <laughs> oh, God. Who knows, maybe one day I'll figure out how to fix this and and or just accept the fact that apparently my computer's processor or whatever, or maybe graphics card, doesn't like streaming. <laughs> uh, which is weird, because I, I didn't have an issue like whenever I was streaming like eight months ago. But nowadays, it's just dying inside, trying to do things. Uh, so who knows? Uh, I guess we'll figure it out, though. Did I call you? What? Oh, hi, Roxas, but... Uh, you heard having a rough time. Oh. <laughs> okay, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, is this the... Uh, is this the, the Doomer channel in your server? Uh... But yeah, no, it's... You, you might be able to see everything's a bit laggy on my model. Uh, that's also because I have Slay the Spire running in the background for in a bit, but that game shouldn't... isn't, like, that intensive, you know? From, like, a graphical standpoint. Uh, so, I have no idea why why VTube Studio is like chugging whenever I have any game open while streaming. Especially because it didn't used to do that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll figure it out at some point. Uh, but yeah. I guess, uh... I don't know. How are you holding up, Roxas? <laughs> As I pull up the game... Here we go. Yeah. Whoa, there it is. Uh, I'm not sure which one you're referring to, but no, my auto mod hasn't had to pick up anything. So that's good. I I have thoroughly uh updated my like nightbot and stuff, so it might be a bit on the like safe slash restrictive side. Uh, so I might have to tune it down over time, depending on the situation. You just got off work, so you're just gonna do nothing for an hour? Nice. <laughs> but yeah, so far no problems. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the Watcher, uh, this run. I've done, so I basically, I started a new, like, a, like save file for streaming, uh, Slay Aspire, and I've done four runs, three of them have been wins, uh, one on each character, and then one of them was a really fast defect loss. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do Watcher and we're gonna see if we can get to the heart. And I'm gonna see if I need to turn off physics on my goddamn model so that I can not be at like 20 frames a second. Uh, let's do... Alright physics, goodbye. No more tie swaying or hair swaying or whatever. It's just uh, default Innis now. Another try, yes. Thanks, Meow. Meow, I think is the name. Uh, uh, let's look at the map. Can I set up a good, like, early elite with this? No. No, I can't. Uh, what route? I I'll figure out the route afterwards. Well, let's just start with. Some more max HP, why not? Uh <clears throat> mm. 
I want to hit a lot of question marks. I want to hit some elites. Uh, I forget what the burning elites mean. I think it's just like advanced stuff. Uh, I kind of like the left side. Yeah, so the the watcher gets to start out with uh zero energy, gain one energy, and they a lot of their stuff is like they can retain cards in their hand. Uh, I've got a really bad opening hand here, but I'm just gonna. They have these two stances that they or three stances, but for now we only have to worry about two of them. There's calm and there's like enraged or something like that. Uh, wrath, yeah. Uh, and they don't. Uh, calm doesn't do anything innately, but whenever you leave calm, you get two energy. Uh, wrath makes it so that you deal and receive double damage for as long as you're in it. Uh, so I need to figure out. If I can do enough damage, so it'd be 9 plus uh, 12, 36. That's exact ease, I think. So yeah, I enter Wrath, I left Calm, so I got back 2 energy, and then bonk, bonk, bonk. Swift Potion, okay. Uh, um. So retain basically just means that uh, you get to keep the card in hand. Also, I suppose I need to unmute the audio of the game. There we go. Uh, retain means you get to keep the heart card in hand at end of turn rather than discarding it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this could just be a good like defensive thing. This is just like a free seven damage a fair amount of the time. But I also do like having the card draw and being able to enter calm. Uh, especially because it, you sometimes need to enter calm after like doing an enrage turn or a wrath turn, so that you don't take you know double damage. Uh, bonk bonk, yes. Oh no, I'm weakened, weakened but deal double damage, so that's nice. Uh, ideal, yeah, and they're gonna gain some defense there, so that's not really gonna work to fully clear it off. So here's what we're gonna do: uh, miracle vigilance to block everything. Nice. Yeah. I like how quickly you can play cards in this game. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, AoE is very nice to have. I'm just gonna take the AoE. Uh, yeah, I, I like how in this card, in this game, you can play cards really quickly. Like, literally as soon as they're in your hand, you can just play them. Uh, I know that's an issue with, like, some other card games, Cough Cough Hearthstone, uh, where I literally can't block this. I have no block in hand. Uh, but, like, some other card games, you are forced to play like really slowly and watch through like animations and stuff and so it can get really obnoxious but in this one it's just like bang 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 do it as fast or as slow as you want uh okay um windmill strike is pretty interesting because it just lets you build up like if you're able to play a slow deck you can just build up this massive one hit thing uh over time uh being able to just like enter Wrath at any point for one energy is really nice though too. But I think I'm gonna take the Windmill Strike because well, uh, it's a two cost thing. But yeah, I, I, I'm gonna do Windmill Strike. I just wanna I wanna see number get big. All right, what we got? As you come to a dead end, you begin to turn around, and walls slam down from the ceiling, trapping you. Three faces materialize from the walls and speak. Forget what you know and I'll let you go. I require change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. Uh... I think... Uh... This early on, I think I'd rather transform a card than just flat remove one. Uh... Just because I can adapt better to what it is now. So we're gonna transform... Uh, Shrike, I guess. 
Strike? Do I want to do strike? Yeah, we'll transform strike. Halt. Gain 3 block if you're in wrath in additional 9 block. Okay, that's good. Satisfy the walls in front of you merge into the ceiling, leaving a path forward. Maybe I should have gone for the upgrade. I should have, like, looked at what my upgrades could be. Uh... But I don't know. Uh... Well, uh... I could just triple defend here if I don't want to take any damage. Oh wait, no, right, I can just do this and then... There we go. Just barely. Um, uh, Consecrate Strike, and we're just gonna let this build up over time. Yo! <laughs> God, I love the sound effects in this game. Uh, I'm not gonna do math, this is lethal. Yeah. <laughs> something, something, uh, math is for blockers. I'm not used to seeing this cut through fate art because I'm so used to seeing the beta art. Uh, basically, once you beat the game with a character, all the cards in your deck, like once you beat the heart more specifically, all the cards in your deck that you had in that run, you unlock the like beta testing art for it, which is just like programmer art basically, and it's great. Um, pressure point is kind of like poison, but like not quite. It's like you build a deck specifically around pressure points. I've never done a pressure point run before. Maybe I'll go for it. But also, Cut Through Fate is just such a good card. Um, also, this potion. Div Divinity Stance is, like, if I remember correctly, I think it's... I, I forget what exactly it is. It's something about dealing bonus damage and having more energy or something like that. But it's usually really hard to enter. Do I do a pressure? It's early enough in the run that I could try to commit to a pressure points run. Hmm. Screw it, we're doing it. We're going for it. It'll be funny if it works. Uh, then again, it might not be that good against this guy in particular. Uh. Well. Uh, this hand is useless. Yeah, so... I'm gonna do... I don't want to take, like, 28 plus damage. Uh... I'm gonna draw some cards. We're gonna Vigilance. Uh, the card draw doesn't really help me on this turn from that. So we're gonna Defend, Consecrate, uh, and then... Now I'm gonna save the Miracle for later. This boss always fucks me up, by the way. This elite, uh, I guess it's a mini boss. Just because I, I tend to play a lot of decks based around, like, playing skills. Uh, bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, so, hmm, I'm gonna hold this for until I get um, the Wrath card again. I gain two strength from the thing, so this technically blocks more than it. Yeah. Um. I think this is worth. God, this is gonna hurt though. Uh. Uh, thirty damage plus. I think this is lethal. Yeah, no, I have enough energy, trust me. There we go. Okay. We're good. Potion belt. Uh, gain two potion slots. Nice. Uh, 
Evaluate. You're in Wrath, apply through Vulnerable to all enemies, otherwise enter Wrath. If I'm gonna try to go for pressure points, I need to keep the deck very small, or at the very least be able to draw stuff more often. So I think Evaluate might actually be good. So we're gonna go with that. You walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers, STOP! You swerve around to face the statue, which is now facing you. On closer inspection, it is not a statue, but a statuesque, gaunt man. Is he even breathing? Face, let me touch. Maybe trade? Uh... Do I take the 50-50? I mean, I always take the 50-50, right? Like, you always... you go for it. But, is there a shop coming up? <laughs> That's the real question. Not for a bit. There's a couple more things until shop. I'm gonna take the coin flip. I mean, for the content, right? For me? For me? Oh, yes, yes, mmm. Uh, see one of the arms flicker in your face in your hand. Your face has been swapped. Nice face, nice face. The next non-boss chest you open is empty. Oh, that's not a good face. Oh, I'm about to have an empty chest. Uh, what does upgrade pressure points do? 11 mark, okay. Come on. Uh, I think I'll do the uh, the pressure points upgrade. Empty chest. But at least I got some gold. Uh, do I take this elite? I kind of want the shop, so yeah. Oh, this guy. Okay, we're fine. Uh, can do some setup here. Mm, this will lock, like... I think I just go in now, though. I think I just start the fight immediately if I have pressure points in hand. Yeah. Uh, Alright, in turn. Uh, okay. So... Evaluate... Uh... I'm just gonna block a bunch, and then... Eventually we'll kill it with, uh, marks and windmill strike. Uh, this is free. Oh, I should've... I, if I was gonna do eruption, I should've done that first. Uh... That's 30 damage. So, let's see. This is basically free. And then I can play this, and then I can go back into the defense mode. I'll still take, like, 10 damage, but I'd be dealing 30? 30, 39, more accurately? I think that's worth. So we do Eruption, Miracle, Windmill Strike, Vigilance. And I could have gotten an extra 5 damage if I did my card ordering correctly. Okay, luckily they're not doing anything major here. Uh, let's get another Insight to get next turn. More Mark. Not my soul, I need that. Uh, draw two. Consecrate. God, that is not doing much. Um, I think I just block this all, or as much as I can. I'm definitely gonna want to heal at the next rest site. Well, pressure points. Start each combat with one deck state. Ooh, that's nice. Uh... Mary attack, this enemy gain to block. I don't really have an attack spam thing going on right now. So mantra is the thing. Okay, so Divinity. Upon entering the stance, gain three energy. Attacks deal triple damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any of these are really that useful for me. 
So I think I just skip. Chop. Alright, what do we got? Oh, Tungsten Rod would have been nice. Um. And heal all. Ooh. This would mean I'd get to upgrade at the next thing or recall if I don't have to heal. Uh, do I take that? Okay, first thing, I'm going to remove a card. Let's remove, um, I guess, a block. Mm. Like water is pretty useful for me just to like tank up for longer. But do I want to take the immediate heal? I think I do. I feel like this is like a scrub choice, but I think I'm doing it. And then we're gonna upgrade something, I think. Uh. Windmill strike? Yeah, that seems good. Let's just get this upgrade right away. So now our two main damage sources are upgraded. Alright, we're gonna want to try to kill these two at about the same time, if possible. Uh. Uh. because they apply the vulnerable to me after killing them. Pressure point. Okay, that's good to get set up. Uh, get on this guy, I guess. Now that is, that is one energy deal 11 damage right now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, draw two. Okay, I think this is... I can find lethal here, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not even that hard. We'll do... Uh, eruption. Exit Calm Stance. That, and then... Yeah, no, it, I had way over lethal, actually. Uh, getting to draw more cards is really useful for this deck, because I just want to be spamming Pressure Point, I think. Oh, where is my con- I just need Enrage and to Consecrate. Oh, okay, I don't quite have it here. Um, let's just do Defend. Defend. Uh, consecrate, and then you can take out one of them. Yeah. Okay, uh... Well, this hand isn't that great for the situation. But at least I can bonk down the... This guy, I guess. <laughs> Just that guy. I can bonk down two of them. Or I could just tank this and deal a little bit more damage. I think I'm just gonna tank it. Okay, uh... I, mean, I can kill both the attacking guys this turn. And actually this guy too. Never mind. Okay, we're good. I always underestimate just how much damage this character does sometimes. Uh... If the enemy has 30 less HP, set their HP to 0. That's like really good early on, but it gets way worse later. Uh... Hmm. I mean... What's the boss I'm fighting? 
Hexacoast, okay. Um, it's tempting. What's it upgrade to? It's like 40, right? Yeah. God, Wheel Kick is pretty nice too, though. I'm gonna take Judgment. It's funny. And yet we're gonna upgrade it right away, I think. Unless, what does this do? Oh, that makes it drop to one cost. Okay, yeah, no, I think we're doing that. The Hex a Ghost. Okay. Well, this is a good hand to start with. <laughs> do I want to take the power cards just right away? Yeah, let's just do this now. Uh, whenever a card is retained, reduce its cost by one this combat. In three strength, three dexterity. Nope. Uh... Our card is created during combat upgrade. No, we're doing this one. Okay, uh... We're going to... Uh... God, that's a lot of damage. Seven times... Like, wait... Why is that dealing, what is that, 42 damage? Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna discard this, uh, and the halt doesn't really block enough to be meaningful here. And also, I don't care about damage this turn. We're gonna draw three, okay, um, this is better. Uh... Okay, we're taking about half of this. I'm really glad I did all that healing in preparation. Uh, insight, uh, defend, and then strike, I guess, there we go. No, not the burn. Uh, Insight. Well, we gotta play the pressure points every time we get it. Uh, evaluate, halt, defend. Uh, you know what, let's just play the, the windmill strike now, because it's free. And then we'll just keep getting it free. I think it stays free for the rest of the combat, doesn't it? Yeah. So now we just have zero energy, deal 20 damage in our deck. Oh, let's draw two. Pressure points. Let's draw two. Uh, block. Uh, strike, consecrate, windmill strike, I guess. Maybe I should be charging up the windmill strike even more. Hmm, so this is gonna be two damage, but that's the only damage I'm taking this turn. Uh, since they're not attacking, and I should be able to draw into something next turn, I'm gonna do this now. Uh, I guess I don't have that many cards to work with for it, but we'll get it next turn. Let's see if we can do some serious damage this turn. Uh... Well... Uh... Not enough. <laughs> oh god, I should've, uh... I should've done Divinity Stance that turn, and then I probably would've... At the very least, you know, do something, but it's really unlucky that I... I guess I'm not that unlucky, there's only two cards in here that would be what I need. Uh... Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Do I just tank the 28 damage? I think I do. I think I'm just gonna let it happen. It's okay, as long as I kill it next turn, I'm still on ascent- oh yeah, there we go. Bonk, judged. 
I'm on Ascension 1, or I'm on Ascension 0, so I don't need to worry about the my health post-boss. Uh, let's see. Omniscience, choose a card in your draw pile, play the chosen card twice and exhaust it. Mmm, no. Uh, deal 10 damage. If it's fatal, upgrade a random card to your deck. Uh, shuffling Spunger into your draw pile, exhaust. Uh... I guess Lesson Learned is pretty decent this early. Uh, Velvet Choker... I think I want the... this. I I mean, I... oh, this is... it does suck as Watcher to only be limited to six cards per turn. But I think I gotta, because, like, getting the extra energy every combat is so nice. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, uh, what am I going? Uh, I want to try to hit all the elites here, take a divergence if I need to. Oh, the muggers. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess I'm defending. Well, I can get rid of one of them now. That's nice. Uh, judged. Uh, since I can't block this turn anyways, I might as well just do the study setup. I need more defense stuff in my deck. Uh, okay. So... I need to be able to kill, like, ASAP. Hopefully I'll be able to enter Enrage next turn, or Wrath. If I can't, then I, I will use the Divinity Potion to, like, get the KO here if I need to. Uh, well, I got a lot of insight, so we'll draw into something, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, how many cards do I have in hand? I have enough to play another one of these. Uh... Wow, I did not draw much of use here. Okay, hold on. Uh, Miracle... I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards in hand, so I need to get rid of one more. Uh... I don't know, we'll deal the 11 damage here. Oh, fuck. Oh, god, I forgot about the choker. Uh... <laughs> well, okay, there goes my... There goes my gold. But I, I wouldn't have been able to deal enough damage anyway. That's, god, my eruption was at the bottom of the deck, basically. And my lesson learned is even further down. Alright, bye bye thief. There goes 15 gold. At least I got 15 of it back. Uh, yeah, I think I need this. Venturing through a series of tombs. I I, I I hate this. I read this. At first, whenever this was slow showing up, I thought, is it going to say venting? Oh my. <laughs> Amogus? <laughs> God. Uh, venturing through a series of tombs, you are faced with a large sarcophagus studded with gems in the center of a circular room. You cannot make out the writing on the coffin. However, you do notice black fog seeping out the sides. Uh, we take the 50-50. You push open the coffin. The fog dissipates harmlessly. Inside, you find the mortal remains of the, the mortal remains of a decorated soldier grasping an old relic. You pilfer it and move on. The end of, ooh, okay. So divinity is a thing that's I'm just gonna have happen sometimes. <laughs> uh shop. Obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. Ooh, okay. I normally I go for the removal every time, but I think I want to just copy um the fucking what's it called? Pressure point plus. 
Yeah. Get those pressure points more often. Not sure. Okay. Uh. Well, this blocks everything, I think. So that's nice. Judged. Sad. Not re Not ready to be judged yet. <laughs> Uh, instant block. I don't want to do this until it's fatal. I guess I could have Divinity Potion to make it fatal, but eh. Uh, let's see, pressure points. Oh, that goes through armor. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of damage that this is dealing, though. Uh, can I kill if I do divinity? I want to just start stacking up this lesson learned. So I think I'm just going to do that now. Uh, as wasteful as this might be. Uh, another pressure points? Why, yes, I will take that. Scaling a city, you notice a wall covered in the writings of the ancients. As you try to wrap your head around the, what the glowing puzzle symbols and glyphs could mean, the writing starts to glow. Suddenly, the message becomes clear. Uh... I'm gonna remove a strike, I think. Unless, do I remove something else? Is there anything else I don't want? I think I remove a strike. The answer was elegance, of course. Uh, yep, we're gonna go this way. Oh, these goons, okay. Well, I can judge one of them pretty easily this turn, I think. Uh, but then I take a fuck ton of damage from the others. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna try to do. I'm not gonna do the calculations behind it, because, I don't know, math's for nerds or something. Uh, strike will deal 12 damage. Uh, so I need to do that, and then that, and then we can judge. And then I guess we can do this now. Just had enough cards. Ow. Uh, well I'm still in Wrath. So wait, can I do- so Lesson Learned is 15? Well, they're not at 30 health right now, so... Uh... I kinda need to get back into Calm as soon as possible. Okay, well there's Calm. Uh, we can do this now. Uh... Consecrate. And take out one of them. Uh... Actually, yeah, because I can just fully block the other damage. Yeah, okay. I probably wasted an attack there. I should have mathed it out. I thought, also, a little detail I just noticed, the little, like, eye on the Watcher's staff is, like, angrily shaking when in Wrath mode. Huh, I never noticed that before. Uh... Protect... I don't need to leave Wrath, huh? Because they're just not dealing enough damage. And hopefully I'll draw into a lesson learned. Hmm, Insight? Uh, nope. 
Do I stall out until I hit Lesson Learn? I think I do. This will kill. Uh, so yeah, let's just stall. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Um, try a needle. Start with e. Ooh, that's good. Whenever I die, okay, cool. That that was a really good uh, encounter. Uh, ooh, ooh, this one, the empty cards. I wish I had empty body, which is the one that's like the same sort of thing, but defense. But this is actually really nice. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, start your second turn, gain 14 block. Uh, yeah, I think I want the more defense. Especially because I'm about to do a Burning Elite. Because I think I have to do the Burning Elite to get the key piece. Uh... Let's see. Okay, we're going to try... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I'm going to be playing 5 cards at most anyway. Uh, corruption, bring back the energy, uh, lesson learned on the slightly bigger guy, uh, empty fist on, uh, I guess I'll get rid of the small guys now. Oh, Fatal doesn't count on the small dudes, I forgot. Oops. It only counts on the big guy. Um, we're gonna get the block and then we're gonna do... Uh, that's gonna be only deal, like, what, 18 damage? Yeah, we'll just do this. So I gained my 14 block, but he's busy summoning his dudes. Uh, these pressure points are nice to have. Uh, let's enter Calm and start stacking stuff up. Well, I... right away I'm gonna judge one of these dudes. Uh, after receiving attack damage, gain one strength. Okay, noted. Uh, well, I'm gaining block at the end of turn, no matter what. Do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, okay. Don't ever give up. <laughs> yeah, listen to Gremlin Leader, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, oh fuck, this is a lot of damage. <laughs> Evaluate, uh, pressure points, I guess. Halt and study and strike. Might as well. Oh, well, let's draw some more cards and then draw some more cards. So I can only play four more cards this turn. Uh, pressure points. Pressure points. Cool. Okay, works out. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's right, I just get the Emerald Key for free here, don't I? Nice. Uh, discard any number of cards, and then draw that many. Okay, good. Extra healing is nice. Uh, just Lucky is just a really nice card to have, I think. Like, I, I, I don't think this card is ever bad. Yeah, I think I'll take it. Chest. Uh, I'm gonna take the Sapphire Key here. Toy Ornithopter is nice, but it's not that much stuff. Hmm, okay. Well. Uh, Protect, I guess? Well, first let's do Lucky. Uh, I'll keep Calm at the top. Uh, attack. 
Uh, punch, punch. I want to get this guy down because he's going to start stacking up strength. Oh, hello, Siren, Silent Arends. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? Ooh, this is a hand. Uh, uh, I think, well, I mean, Judgment, easy. Uh, but then... I'm gonna... I probably draw into Vigilance next turn. I have like a 50-50. Uh, let's do free eruption. Uh, let's get this windmill strike down. Yeah, we're doing a uh, uh the fifth I guess total on stream Slay Aspire run, but our first one with the Watcher. Uh. And it's an interesting time. Also, they are not doing attacks, huh? I wish I could use this lesson learned, but it is not useful right now because I do not have enough damage. Oh, that's right. If I play a skill, I get a thing shuffled into deck, right? Yeah, or not attack card. Uh, well, let's just outdraw the dazes. Uh, pressure point. Pressure point. God, these days are gonna be a problem, actually, because of how much my deck is built around skills. Uh, and... Yeah, it's literally just dazes in there right now. Well, at least for every days I, dr I draw, or I get into my deck, I can draw two cards with these insights, yeah. Uh, this kills. God, that's so much. Uh, fear potion, nice. Uh, more pressure points? Yeah. I need to avoid elites now. Oh, that's 21 damage, okay. Uh... I'm gonna do this into... Take a stance to get back energy, which I guess I didn't need to gain the energy from that. I don't have anything I'm doing this turn. God, I do not have. Okay, um. We're gonna try doing this. Evaluate helps. Okay. So I take six here? Yeah. Well, uh, this helps. Mm. Vulnerable, make them take 15. Well, it's okay, I, I block all this damage anyway. Because of the horn cleat. Uh, pressure point kills, I think? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I think I need to do uh, this deal to get more blocks. So I'm playing a very, like, I guess slow deck, and I really need to be able to block things. Oh my god, there's, there's just so much aggro. Uh, this will be 11 plus 19. So that kills. Actually, wait, Judgment just kills immediately. So we do... Judgment, study, pressure point, pressure point. Yeah. And then take a lot of damage. Okay, uh... Well, here's hoping. Well, I don't die this turn. I can block, block... Uh, well that's, yeah, so I'm definitely safe. I just need to draw into more pressure plate points. Uh. Oh. What if I do? 
This it might be kind of crazy, but uh, I want to keep that on top. Strike. Oh, yeah, no, they're dead. Uh, no, I don't think I want any of these. No, thank you. I'm not doing an elite at 2 HP. We are going to rest. Then we're going to this question mark, and then we're going to rest again. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. I Yeah, I just need to pay all my gold. Have a laugh at this wonderful occasion. Yep, yep, nope. Laugh it up, buddies. You're just gonna heal back up. Okay. Okay, well... Oh, this guy's gonna remove all his mark halfway through the fight, isn't he? Uh, let's just set this up now. See reality, defend, pressure points. That's great. Okay. Take one damage here, but oh well. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, we're good. Plated armor. I want to try to keep up my plated armor for as long as possible. Luckily, most of my damage doesn't come through attacks, so uh, being weakened doesn't really matter that much for me. Okay, good. I'll be able to stack up Windmill Strike early. Uh. I'm probably not going to be able to be lethal with this. I'll just let it stick around anyway. Um. Just lucky. Uh, judgment can go to discard. Then... Three block, uh, more protection, more protection, <laughs> and then, yeah. I didn't need to play all that, actually. I probably could have gotten off the other type of defense. Uh, I don't need to draw cards this turn, I think. At least not more than I'm already going to be drawing with this. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Pressure point, pressure point, uh... And we take the extra damage here and then enter Calm. Have a free shot, futile weakling. It's okay. Again, my my damage is not based on my attack, so it's fine. Uh, let's do some scrying. Get rid of that. Draw some cards. Uh, gonna deceive some realities, and maybe do some evaluating, and then. Uh, and pressure points should be enough to block. Yeah. God, this one dexterity is carrying a lot more than I would think. Like, I probably haven't noticed it, but it's like, so much. Uh, oh, more mark. This turn, I think, is the one that they're removing their mark, so... Uh... Sadly, I don't think I can do that much about it, because I don't- I haven't drawn that much useful stuff. I'm gonna save this Windmill Strike for whenever I hit turn 10 for Divinity. Uh... God, I want to deal the damage now, but I don't need this, like... Oh, uh, I can draw back into Windmill Strike in time. And now their 65 mark is going to go away, I think. You've done it now! <laughs> yep, there it goes. Die! Okay. Yep, no, he do want me to be dying, though. Uh... Oh, do I do the eruption this turn? Oh, yep, yep, nope, I do. Uh... And then we can just enter Vigilance again, I think, afterwards. So, vulnerable him. Uh... Wrath. 
I can play four more cards this turn. Uh, let's get this Windmill Strike in, and then kill him with the coin. Dink! <laughs> Flex Potion. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, draw cards until your hand is full. Start your turn, gain, increase this game by one. Ooh. The problem with this is that I need to um, play it immediately. And I don't have... I'm in a very precarious situation a lot of times, so I don't think I have the time during a random turn to just play three energy. Uh, that said, this upgrades all of the, like, insights that I get. Right? Like, here, wait, let me. Is there a way I can look at what insight? Uh, I think insights probably just draw three cards or something. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, definitely not. Uh, two card. Oh, I don't. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I. My deck is good enough, I think, as is. And Tiny House is okay, but. Nah. I get to choose the card that I obtain here. So that's nice, but nah, I'm just going to take the crown, get the 5 energy. That said, I don't have as much as I'm able to do with the 5 energy given that I have the collar, but eh. Or the choker, rather. Uh, let's see. So all I need to do now is at some point rest with the red, uh, to get the red key. Um, so I'm going to look for a side that has a lot of campfires that I'll be able to do that in. I don't want to do a shop until later. Actually, yeah, let's just try this middle route, I think. And then we can go... I'll stop by one elite. Yeah. I don't think this this build will be able to win against the heart, but we can try. <laughs> uh, Yep, let's do... This, I, god, I do not have defense cards in my deck, do I? Uh... Ooh, this is not good. I'm taking 18 damage here. Okay, uh... Well, now I have all this block, but nothing to do with it. Uh... Yeah, I'll keep that on the top. Uh... I wish I could retain this lesson learned, but... Alas. Uh... Yeah, no, I just, there's nothing I can do here. 43 block and, like, nothing to block it with. To block with it, for it, what I have. Yeah, words, words are hard. Professional streamer. Uh... Alright, let's draw some cards. Hmm... Oh, there's some way to make this work out perfectly. So let's try... This here, this here, and then Judgment, this one, Pressure Point again, and then, god I don't quite have enough uh, to be able to, like, kill it, oh well. I didn't run into the thing that I want for this, but... Yeah, I just kinda gotta eat shit here, I think. Uh, the Vigilance can go away, I think. Uh, and then Windmill Strike this guy, I guess, but like... Yeah, now both this guy on the right is gonna wake up, and I think they're gonna heal at, like, yeah, to 50%. 
Ugh, okay. Well, uh, this should be enough, I think. Is it? Wait, hold on. And now it's definitely enough, okay. And then, it doesn't really matter what I do here, because I just got... Oh, yeah, I have to judge me if I don't want to do Uh, shuffle... no, skip. As you head upwards, hopping from one flowing shape to another, you slip. You begin to fall. Uh... I will lose a strike. <laughs> I would want to remove that anyway. Orb, fella. Um... This is a gamer reference. Like, if you get the reference. I will... take the eruption, I think. Nah, I'll, I'll pass on the eruption. Uh, bonk, 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 I guess bonk. My, uh, what amazing commentary from Innis here. Bonk, 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 bonk. Uh, what we got here? Let's start studying, consecrate. I really wish I had more defensive stuff in this deck. Like, look at this, I'm not doing anything this turn, basically. <laughs> Uh, evaluate, protect, inner peace, defend. Yep, nothing to do this turn. So that's something. I love that card, but not in this run. My favorite type of build is that sort of like flurry of blows, weave, stuff of that, like throwing in a bunch of attacks and stance swapping all the time. Uh, we're judging that right away. Just get rid of that guy. Uh, don't have to worry about this guy's thorns if I just start doing this. Uh, can gain some block. Empty fist and more block, I guess. Why does this have a red on it? No idea. Okay. Uh. Uh, lucky. Yes, I will keep pressure points on top. And then next turn, we'll be able to KO that guy with the pressure point. Actually, I probably could have put on the guy on the left this turn. And then next turn, KO with the doubling it up. Oh, wait, actually, no, this is better. Okay, hold on. And finally, another lesson learned. Yo, and an upgrade a pressure point, let's go! <laughs> uh, no, we can skip that. Now what do we got? While walking and tra uh, traversing through the chaos of the spire, your thoughts must begin to suddenly feel very real. Image imaginings of monsters and riches begin to manifest themselves in reality. The sensation is quickly fleeting, what do you do? Uh... Hmm. Definitely not that one, as much as I like gold. Uh, let's fight a boss from Act 1, I think we can do it. Yo, welcome back, Hexaghost! How is it? Now you're a double ghost, because we killed you before and now we're killing you now. I cannot play this eruption because I will die the next turn if I do that. Um... <laughs> like it... God, the, the lesson learned in Judgment are, like, kind of clouding up my deck against these bosses now. In Elites. Oh, Empty Fist would have cleared up the, uh, er the eruption, after all. Uh, keep the pressure points. Bonk, bonk. I take a uh, decent amount of damage, but not that much. Uh, Master... Nah, we'll do that later. Okay, yeah, we can Master Reality. Uh... We can enter Vigilance mode, we 
We can do more pressure points. We can consecrate. And I guess we defend, because why not? The music is all distorted for this. That's weird. Maybe it's because it's almost like a dream sequence type thing. More pressure points. Uh, more card draw. Oh, I want to just play another pressure point, but I should probably block this damage. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna block. I'm a coward. If only I didn't have the choker. Evaluate blocks everything I need to block. Uh, this should set up for lethal in the next few turns, I think. Yeah, because next time I play uh, a pressure point card. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, what we got? Can now gain strength at rest sites. That is useless to me, but cool. Uh, no thank you. Wait, uh, no. Uh, what's the map up ahead like? I have a decent amount of health no matter what, so... I can go this into shop into another rest site? Maybe? Hmm. What can I upgrade here? Lesson learned upgrade isn't that useful. Uh... I don't have anything that I, like, desperately want to upgrade here, and I don't really need the health yet. So I think I'm just gonna... Um... I can upgrade the Master Reality to make it cost zero, but I don't think energy is my issue right now. Yeah, we're just gonna get this. Get the key piece. Go to shop, I guess. Or do I rather... I think I'm, just, I'm gonna try to get more gold for the next shop. Yeah. Ooh, a spider growth. Well, I should be able to spam a lot of uh, pressure points on it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Play the judgment for fun. Get lucky. Discard that card because it's not even good. Uh set up a deceive reality. I don't think I'm gonna hit the lesson learned, but might as well try for it. Well, now I have three cards to be able to defend enough to block this, so we'll play this. Then we'll just do, I guess, inner peace and... Empty Fist for the damage. I have not gone into... T I've never gone to turn 10 after picking up this Relic, by the way. Uh, more pressure points. Into more pressure points. Into dead. <laughs> the pressure points are doing damage. Ooh, I will take the... This just lucky. Uh, we meet again. A cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. You do not know this man. I, I've seen him a couple times, but I guess the watcher wouldn't know them, especially because the memory wiping thing. It's me, Ranwid. Have any good? Have any goods for me today? The usual. A fellow like me can't make it alone, you know. I am not getting rid of my fairy in a bottle. Uh. I also want to keep my gold. This card isn't that important to me, I think. I'll take a relic. Start your combat with one strength. Eh. Golden Eye. 
Uh, when we scry, scry two additional cards. Nice. Uh, shop. What we got here? Uh, I still can't afford these. Uh, nope, no, those are useful. This isn't useful. I I could get a second fairy in a bottle. <laughs> uh. Let's do... let's remove a card. I think I'm gonna get rid of Judgment on... or... or... or Lesson Learned. I feel like Lesson Learned is probably worse. Although I guess Judgment sometimes is literally just a dead card, and at the very least this is deal 10 damage. So... I think I get rid of the Judgment. It's time has passed. It's been judged. Uh... And would I rather get the fairy in the bottle? I mean, having a second extra life it is pretty good, so I think I'm gonna take that. Uh, elite. Alright, giant head. This should be fine. I think my damage ramps up fast enough that I can deal with this guy. Uh, I do need to do the double block though. <clears throat> Four. <laughs> uh, pressure point, empty fist. I guess I can just play these defense. Three. No, not my weakness. I, I need attack damage, I promise. It's not like my deck is built around non damaging or non attack things. Uh. <clears throat> I can just get rid of all these. Uh, this I... Uh, I can get rid of the eruption. I'll keep the protect though. The insight. Do this. Get block. Do I want to cash in on this now? No, I'm weakened. I'll wait until I'm not weakened. Two. Oh, let's draw some cards. Let's apply some more pressure points. Uh, study. Consecrate. Protect. Spend. And turn. One. Yep, here we go. Uh, I could deal some pretty solid damage this turn, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, um, drink this. Eruption. Get lucky. Uh, yes, I like all those cards, actually. Uh, Windmill Strike. Inner Peace. Deceive Reality. Miracle. Oh shoot, I forgot, I don't- I, the miracle counts as a card. Uh, well, I'm gonna take 18 damage here. <laughs> Why are you still here? Because, uh, you haven't done a good enough job at killing me yet. Uh, that said, I, on the other hand, will be doing- I should've scribed first, actually. We can fix that mistake now. Uh, And play a bunch more cards still. Pressure point. Pressure point. Bonk. Goodbye, giant head. Alright, we get an attack card, upgrade it. Okay. Uh, well, I have the passive mantra thing already. Uh. So, let me double check. Does. Does Divinity go both ways as far as the taking? Like, does it let me take extra damage? Whatever, we'll take it. Whatever. Uh, kind of want to heal here, I think. What's the map look like? I can just heal after these fights. What, can, what do I want to upgrade? Uh, hmm. 
Sea mm. reality, maybe? Maybe just the prey? I think I want to upgrade to sea reality. Yeah. Oh, these guys again. Okay. Is this a question mark? No. Mm. Okay, so... These all have the same amount of health. And then... Do to see reality and to halt. And then that's... Uh, 16 block, so we'll do vigilance as well. Let's do... Uh, let's draw first. Bonk. Uh, protection. Evaluate. Uh, I could... Well, let's see, how much damage am I taking here? That's 16, 32, plus 7. Uh, 32 plus 7 is 39, and I'll actually already be blocking enough of that. Yeah, okay, we're good. Nice. Okay. Stack up more pressure points. Uh, can I kill this turn? No, not all of them. But does this work? Actually, hold on. Oh, if only. Maybe I should use my strength upgrade that turn. I don't think this will count as killing it because it doesn't end the fight. It just goes into the question mark mode. Uh, so... But we'll see. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah, if I used the, um, strength potion, I would have been able to do that. It's okay, all I need to do is draw into... Uh... Deceive reality. Not to see real I into the fucking pressure point. There we go. Okay. Uh skip. Draw worms. Uh well. Let's draw some cards, shall we? Pressure points. Put this guy on this one, I guess. And then... Let's protect now, because I don't want to lose the- Well, actually, no, I can just do this. Okay, we're good. And I can just hold on to this for later. These guys are going to get stronger and gain defense, but that doesn't really matter, because I don't care about defense for the most part. Uh... Pressure point. Uh, get lucky, I guess. Uh, skip, skip, skip. Uh, let's block some more. Block some more. Actually, how much damage am I taking? Uh, 30, 40? Okay. So I need to get 10 more defense. We can just do this, and then this. I guess this as well, why not? Well, uh, pressure point. Into... Pressure point on this one will kill it. Into lucky. Sure, we can keep these. Into consecrate, and then I can play two more cards. So I could just kill this guy actually instead. Let's just do that. Why not? We'll do that. 
Wait, do I get it? Oh, wait, hold on. We'll, we'll see. There's a chance I draw into the, the fucking, you know. Uh, where is it? There it is. Bonk. Let's go. Hey, and an upgrade to pressure point again. Oh my god. I'm getting surprisingly lucky with those pressure point upgrades. Uh, I need to heal here, I think. Unless, is there anything I really want to upgrade? Hmm. No. I think I just heal. I don't really care about the plus one strength. I just want to be at as high health as possible going in here. So, as long as I don't die to these guys... Oh god, these guys have artifacts, so the fucking... Uh, it's gonna take two extra marks to even get started on them. Uh-oh. Uh, study, evaluate... Uh, defend... Defend prey. God, I'm going to have to play so many uh, fucking things. I am not playing this eruption this turn. No, thank you. Uh... Let's get rid of Lesson Learned and Halt. Play Protect and this. And I really just want to hold on to this for as long as possible. I guess I should uh, just take the... Well, I, I can save the Strength Potion for the Heart, I guess. If I don't think I need it here. Yeah. Bonk bonk. Uh, well. Might as well get started on these. So I do a whole lot of nothing this turn when it comes to those. And then... Block a bunch. Oh, I'm gonna take one damage here, and it's gonna get rid of some plated armor. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, artifact's gone. Let's do this and then see if I draw a better defense card. Mmm, yep. Okay, so now I can finally actually start doing damage to these guys. Uh, okay. So, step one. I want to just start blocking some. Uh, and then draw some more cards. And then pressure point. We'll take down one at a time, I think. Oh no, we can split up the damage evenly. And then, yeah, I think that's fine. Because then it'll tick down on them both, like, more and more. Uh, I really need to block some more, though, so... More Vigilance, more Consecrate, there we go. God, these guys are just getting stronger and stronger though. Uh... I could enter- I enter Mantra next turn, actually. Or, I enter Divinity next turn. So... That's something worth considering. This guy's the one that's granting them more strength. Uh... Hmm. Let's block some... More pressure points. More protection. More defense. Next turn, I just slam the fucking donut with the uh, windmill strike at Divinity. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, so I don't take extra damage back, so that's good. Uh, start here. Yep, I like those cards. 
Uh, 108 damage straight to the dome. Insight. Insight. And play two more cards. Sad that these are the ones I'll be playing, but... Uh, God, I really want to take advantage of the extra damage I'm doing now. But I really need to block this damage I'm about to take. So... Fuck me, I guess. Uh, here I go taking, what, like... 26 damage? Yeah. Okay, I can just start pressure pointing this guy now at least. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this out now. Get this starting to shuffle in. God, that's so much damage. Uh... Well, this is a bit of predicament. A predicament. Uh, I don't have any fucking cards. Uh, well, at least I have the fairy in a bottle. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll just have that ready. Uh. I think I want to keep up the stance here, even if it does mean giving up on some damage now. Alright, well, first bottle used. <laughs> uh, pressure point. Insight. Insight. Uh, blocking doesn't do anything this turn. Uh, Deceive Reality does do something, though, because it gets me a safety in hand. I just need two more pressure points. Uh, well, maybe these will draw me into it. There's one. Can I get into another one? i going to discard all of these. Draw two. Uh, wait, this should do it as well, right? Bonk, okay. Whew. Proceed. Now, normally the game would end here, but... Thud -dum, thud -dum, thud -dum. A deep, pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of its evil? Or this evil? You prime your staff with divine energy. You deal 779 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness begins to fade. But a sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats upwards. A large door is revealed in its place. Let's go, we got the key. I think I die immediately in here though, so... You know, there's that. So jump. The ending. Well, at least I have a campfire. Uh, do I upgrade? Or do I just take the plus one strength? Hmm. I think I take the evaluate upgrade, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. Shop. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to afford anything useful. Well, I can afford a potion. Maybe scry gain three block. Uh, not that great. Why mm. weak? Ooh, actually. This might save me at some point. I'm gonna buy that. Alright, let's see if I die here. I don't think I'll even make it so hard. I think I die at this fight. So the gimmick here is that one of these enemies is going to be behind you. 
and it deals bonus damage. Uh, and one of, the, one of them will be in front of you. Uh, if I target, or I think if I, if I attack one of them, then I switch directions that I'm facing. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to pressure point. Yep, we need to get rid of the artifact. Uh, start blocking. Start studying. And I guess halt. Why not? Uh, do I just take the damage with this, or do I try... I'm just gonna take the damage and get it out of my deck. Hmm, okay. So I definitely want to block forward. Uh... I'm gonna see if this turns me around. It does. Okay, so I can turn back around with this, luckily. Uh... And then I can just defend, defend, empty fist. God, um... I think I am gonna do the weak potion now. Okay, now I definitely want to turn around there. Uh, so let's draw some cards. Uh, AoE damage is nice. Apply pressure points. Vigilance. Scry. Uh, we'll get rid of Eruption, I guess. Defend. And yeah. Still taking a lot of damage here, but ugh. Okay, so... I want to end up facing to the left. Uh, do I have a way to do that? Yeah, I can pressure... Well, I want to pressure point this, but I want to end up facing left. So can I draw into something that lets me do that? Can I please draw into something that lets me do that? Uh, yes, okay, good. And now I just need to block as much as I can, but I can only play one card, so... Uh, fuck, I guess it's this one. I'm gonna lose all my plated armor here. Okay, now I definitely want to face to the right, so that's good. So that's what I was gonna do anyway. Um, evaluate, and then I can play three more cards, consecrate, uh, defend, defend. Ow. Now I definitely want to block left this time. Actually, wait, hold on. Do I have... Can I draw into another pressure point? Let's discard that. This and this, I guess. Let's discard all of that. And then... Draw more. Because if I can draw into a second pressure point... Yeah, there we go. So I can just hit right, right. Yeah, okay. Um, I can play one more card. Uh, this doesn't quite block enough, so we'll do this. Okay. Okay. We'll be at half health going into the heart, but we still have a potion ready. Uh, pawn upgrade to- up oh, okay. Uh, so let's see. That's nice. Uh, I think I actually do want this. And let's upgrade some stuff. Nice. And now I die. Okay, so we're just gonna apply this right away. Um, so it can only lose eight, 300 HP per turn right now. 
And whenever I play a card, I take a damage. So, uh, let's start with evaluate, defend. Uh, do I want to just go into eruption and hope I draw something to get me out of it, or is that just a death sentence? <laughs> I mean, I'm doing it. We're taking the risk. And we're just going to stack up this windmill strike. Uh, yep, that's a lot of bad stuff, huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Good news, I got the Empty Fist to get out of this situation. Uh, so let's do Deceive Reality. Pressure Points. Empty Fist. Uh, so I'm taking 36 damage here. I can block most of it, that's nice. Well, there goes all my plated armor, though. Well, like, okay, only two of it, that's nice. Um... God, that's a lot of damage at once. Uh... Well, I can't really do much about the fact that I'm taking that much damage at once. Inner Peace and Consecrate, I guess? Yeah, no, I just I just tank this and then go down to my Fairy Potion. Bonk. Alright, well, now or never. Uh... Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, uh, sure, I guess. We'll just keep those. Uh, get rid of the slime. I guess lesson learned. Oh god, that artifact is gonna be really obnoxious. Well, okay, I still deal damage with the things, it's just not as much. Can I gain enough block to not die to this one hit? That's the real question. <laughs> uh... Let's see. Uh, yes, I will keep all of those. Except for the prey, I think. Um... Uh, well, defend... Vigilance... Halt... Uh, I survive here. Barely. I don't think I win this fight, though. Yeah, no, I, I just die here. <laughs> uh, you know, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go out on my own terms. We're gonna die to the fucking the heartbeat. Yeah, the beat of death. Uh Bonk. There I go. Desecrated. Ooh, okay. Inadequately prepared. Yeah, no, I was not ready for the heart. Not with that build. Uh But hey. Uh we still beat the first three floors, which is good. That's as much as I've done on the other characters so far. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, new things mostly relating to mantra builds. Nice. Well, that was a run. Uh, run it back, I guess? Do we want, yeah, actually, no, let's try, let's try it with Ascension. We'll, we'll try the Ascension mode. So, so basically, Ascension is this game's like difficulty slider, that the more runs you do, the harder it gets. Um, and in this case, it makes Elite spawn more often. Uh, so yeah. Greetings. Hello, Niao. Uh, I will take a random boss relic instead of the, the miracle, I think. Okay. Uh, that kind of fucks with... I'll very rarely be able to upgrade cards, if ever. But having an extra energy, like always, is pretty damn nice. Uh, I'm 
I'm gonna see if I can do a Burning Elite, like, early. So I'm gonna go this path, I think. Alright, uh... Well, I won't be able to get out of Vigilant, or out of Eruption mode, but... This is fine. You do not belong here! I think I do. Uh, bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh... Ooh. Hmm... Maybe. Empty body is just really good, like always. I could go for a mantra build. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna do this. Uh, what do I take? Uh... I think I just remove a card, don't I? Uh... Actually, this is pretty nice if I want to do something with, like, stance changing. Hmm... Maybe. Let's do card removal. Uh, we'll get rid of... Uh, defend, I guess? Oh, like, uh, the Watcher has a lot of attack cards. I think I'll get rid of a strike. That might make it a bit harder early on, but we'll see. Oh no, slimes. What do I do? Uh, sadly, I can't kill either one of them this turn. So I just have to hit them down. It's gonna probably weaken me or fail. Oh, slime. Okay. Uh, well. Eruption, strike. Empty body. Defend, defend. It feels so nice being able to play all the cards and not having a limit on that. Not being able to forge is going to be a bit obnoxious, though. Uh, well, they're not attacking this turn, so... Having the extra energy is so nice. Even if I didn't spend it that turn, that's a bad example. <laughs> oh, bonk. Uh... Cut Through Fate is just a generically really good card. Uh, I don't have money for a shop, so we'll go this way. Jawworm. Uh, eruption, strike, empty body. Take out half its health. Uh, cut through fate. Uh... I don't need it. Uh, ooh, actually, hold on. Vigilance, empty body. Strike, strike. Finessed in all the block and getting some extra damage in. Strike. Oh, nope, that's block. Strike. Nope, that's also block. There we go. Strike. <laughs> uh... Maybe? I might just take another cut through fate, though, I'll be honest. Sure. I guess, uh, I've been talking only about the game just because it's been quiet around here, but wait, hold on. Uh, this guy again. Uh, well, I'm not that attached to that card, so I think I will get rid of it and get a free relic. Nice. Uh, where was I? Uh, this way. Campfires mean nothing to me now other than healing and the relic, so... Uh, I don't need to worry about anything else. Cut through fate. Uh, I want empty body, but I want strike now. So bonk bonk. Uh, yeah. I guess. Um, what were we gonna say? Something interesting is that given that I've kind of started out with Slay the Spire as my first like main game that I'm playing, uh, it means that I have the opportunity to like. Uh, to sort of branch. Because one problem that a lot of people have if they want to try to be variety streamers, which is what I plan on being more or less, is, you know, it's easy to get people on board by playing one game, but it's harder to keep people around if you're switching between games. Um, and so what's nice, though, is that I'll be, like, I can branch in, like, from here either into other roguelikes, presumably, or 
car other card games, both of which I plan on doing. So that's cool. Uh, can I kill this turn? I think so. Yeah. Cool. Blood Vial. That's really nice to have. Okay, especially this early. Whenever you gain block this turn, apply one weak. Ooh. Whenever you scry. I'm gonna take the scrying one, actually. Uh, don't need to heal yet. Oh, sad. I don't have a. Like. Whatever, I'll just do this and then this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I plan on doing playing a bunch of different card games and a bunch of different roguelikes, so I feel like Slay of Spires, even though I kind of just picked it on whim, I feel like it's kind of the perfect starting game for me to play on stream. Uh, man, it's just the one guy that's attacking. Weird. Having plus one strength all the time is just generally very nice. Do that, doesn't matter, and then there. Bottled Miracle. Oh, nice. <sighs> judgment. Uh, I don't want to have to waste time removing you later, Judgment. I'm just going to take Consecrate. <laughs> slime. Big Slime. Uh... I think I'm going to enter Vigilance for the extra energy. Well, I don't have enough card draw to really care about the extra energy. I'm just going to do this. Wow, that's an awful hand. Uh, they go to 34. That's still not half. So I don't have to worry about them splitting yet. Okay, so, uh, Bonk, uh, Nirvana, start scrying. Kind of want to just deal damage now. Oh yeah, since I killed him, here. Bonk. <laughs> no splitting allowed. Uh, let's see. Big fan of Empty Body. We're just going to take another one of it. Uh, I'd rather go to more question marks, I think, right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll start with five energy. That's nice. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. No, upon closer inspection, they are tied to strings coming from up in holes in the ceiling. There's a quiet cackling from above as you t approach the objects. Uh... I feel like, oh, but I have, I'm playing Watcher, so that means I'm going to be retaining cards a lot. When's the next shop? Uh, I'm not actually getting to a shop this floor, am I? So, hmm. Fuck it, we ball. Maybe you play 10 cards, draw a card, nice. Enter a corridor filled with Advertising colored mushrooms. Due to your lack of, lack of specialization in mycology, you're unable to identify the specimens. You want to escape, but you feel oddly compelled to eat a mushroom. Uh. Nope. I will fight this. Can I kill this this turn? 10 plus 16 plus uh, 17. Or 12, uh, 14, rather. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, even better. Bonk, and then bonk. Get the. I should have. I should have just done the strike. Actually, I don't want to draw a card here. Uh, let's get these both away so that I can draw other stuff sooner. Oh, nice. Uh, let's take the damage there. Well, uh, I can defend a lot this turn, that's nice. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> That's so much defending. Next card I play draws me a card. Uh, I'm so close to this being able to kill the thing. Oh wait, no, that's right, I have one strength, that's right, okay. Odd Mushroom. When vulnerable, take more damage rather... Oh, right, I take, okay, so vulnerable is less dangerous to me. Good. Uh, I don't think this is that important to me. Flurry of Blow, ooh, this is exactly what I need for this deck. Yes, I will take that. Burning Elite. I'll be able to get my first key out of the way right away. Uh... Ass. <laughs> That's a very bad hand right now. I just want to set up, uh... Calm or... Yeah, let's just do... Calm here. Ah, uh, fuck it, we'll go in. Uh... Uh, I'll draw... I don't really care about a strike here. I'll draw this. Consecrate. Empty body. Regret takes one damage. Good. I should have actually left that in there so I'd be able to have the weave in the... or the flurry blows in the discard pile. Uh, well, this is not a good hand for this turn, is it? Uh... Oh... Yeah, no, that was a misplay. I should have made sure there were five cards in my deck. Uh, Flurry of Blows, Vigilance, Flurry of Blows, Empty Body, Flurry of Blows, Defend, Defend, Consecrate. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this time it's probably slightly better. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh... Flurry of Blows, cut through fate, get rid of both of these, try to draw into- yes, okay, perfect. Bonk. Uh, I think I want to stay in this stance. Okay, so, Consecrate, Strike, Strike. Vigilance, Flurry of Blows, uh, I tank the damage here, I guess. Consecrate, Strike, Strike. Good! Got the green key right away. Ooh, that card, that, that relic is so good. Okay, yeah. Uh, very happy about that. Uh, to see Reality is just a good card. Uh, would I rather go for another Elite at this health? I don't think I can handle Gremlin Knob right now. But otherwise I'm just double healing? Uh, okay, fine. Okay, so I'll do heal here and then I'll take the whatever happens here. Let's see. You fall into a puddle. Ooh, okay, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna take that and then we're gonna heal again. I'll be able to use the recall later. It's fine. Uh, slime boss. Uh, strike. Ass. <laughs> really bad first turn. <laughs> uh, they're preparing this turn. So I can just slam stuff at them. Now I really need to be able to knock them out this turn. Uh, this'll do it, I think. So, uh, Nirvana. Try. Uh, we'll discard that. Consecrate. Uh, strike. And then... I want to draw cards, actually, I think, because I want to make sure that I'm going to get them down as low as possible. Well, that's shitty. Um, guess I'll get rid of that. 
fuck it. Actually, I'm gonna do the bottle miracle as well. We're gonna get as much value out of this as I can. I think if I use the strength, the flex potion that turn, I might have been able to kill. But that's okay. Now I just have to deal with two things with 37 health. Well, huh, that's a hand. <laughs> I guess I'm defending. Uh, let's see. I forget. I'm gonna get rid of the spike slime. I think that one's the one I'm more scared of. Oh, I I should have done the math on the split better. Okay. Uh, and deal 13 damage here, which isn't enough to do anything. Uh, that doesn't quite split this guy, for what it's worth. Oh, I should've looked at the fact that I was drawing a card there. <laughs> okay, um... That's fine, I don't think I'm at risk of dying this combat. Okay, uh... I'm not gonna be able to draw any more cards this turn, so I'm just gonna do this. Flurry of Blows. Consecrate. God, that's so close. Maybe I should've used the Flex Potion this turn, but I think it's fine. I can deal with two things that have one health. Okay, uh... Well, I definitely want to use Empty Body this turn, but first, uh, let's clear out one of these, uh, Empty Body now, to get the thing. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to kill that this turn, so I'm just gonna clear out the other guys. Actually, I still can't kill it with just that. Uh, we'll discard that and that. Oh, nice. We can kill it. God, Gremlin Horn is so good. <laughs> what we got? Uh, not doing Lesson Learned again. Except, uh, it's the only one that here that's like halfway decent, but it's not good. And I don't think I want any of these. <laughs> like, I'll, none of these work with my deck right now. Actually, wait, no, no. I do want Lesson Learned. It's the only way I can upgrade cards in my deck, actually. <laughs> oh, what we got? Mm. Oh, none of these are... Uh, well, I guess I already have an energy relic, so that's fine. Uh, transform three cards and then upgrade them. Remove two cards. Gain energy. I think I'm going to take this. Alright, what do we got here? Don't need to worry about any more burning elites, because I already have the key from them. Uh, Going this way to just hit a shop would be nice. Then, oh, oh, it's, oh god, that's a one-way path, though. I can hit the shop this way as well. And then do two elites. Yeah, we'll do that. I like having choices in the future, potentially. Uh, well, I guess I play my hand, except for this card. I'm gonna try to use that to upgrade my deck. Ravana, good. None of these cards are useful. I wish I drew this last turn. <laughs> Suffer. Alright. Okay, so, Eruption, uh, what does this do exactly? Shuffle with Dazed, okay. Uh, Vigilance, Area Blows, Eruption, 
Flurry of Blows, Empty Body, Flurry of Blows, and then I'm good. My deck's just four days, is no, not quite. Okay. Uh, cut through Fate. Let's see what we got. Uh, those are both nice. I'll get rid of the Defend, though, because I don't need it this turn. Or this next turn, I think. Uh... Gonna try to block all of this. That's an unfortunate card to draw, but I did block exactly everything. Uh, fourteen. Oh, is this enough? <sighs> yes, it's fine. We're good. This is fine, I guess. Sure. Alright, let's see if I get stolen from again this time. Uh... Consecrate, let's make this guy weak. Uh... No, not that one. Or, yes, also that one, actually. Alright, well, uh... Nirvana... Cut through fate... Uh... Actually, I will want that next turn. Uh... We're doing it. I'm wasting a flex potion on this, I don't care. Uh... Block. Used a flex potion for literally one damage. <laughs> but it's an upgrade as well, so... Okay, so... Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. 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 So much bonking. Looks like a fucking uh, fish streamers thing. Uh, hmm. Would I rather take the lucky or would I rather have tantrum? Be able to swap stances more often. I'll take the lucky. Scaling the city, you know, so I'll okay, this one. Uh, I think I do the upgrade all strikes and defends, because then my random upgrades will go onto my actual cards. Yeah. God, my, I don't know if you can hear them, but my housemates are fucking popping off right now. <laughs> uh, well, this isn't ideal for certain things. Okay, I'll take that. Actually, I should have done this in the other order. Uh, defend, consecrate, strike, this. God, this is gonna be a problem for my deck, actually. Uh. Oh, right, I should have taken to account my, my ink bottle. Uh, I still have Flurry of Blows in here, right? No, I haven't actually discarded it yet. Uh. Well. Uh... 
I guess I just do this. Okay, so... Oh god, this is so bad with the malleable. Uh... Where are your blows? Vigilance. Flurry of Blows, Strike. Empty Body. Flurry of Blows doesn't actually do anything here, but... Uh, oh god, I could have applied Weak there. Okay. I, I do not pay attention to the fact that I have Ink Bottle. It just keeps happening. I could have applied Weak there and saved myself that health. Okay. Um. This time for sure. Eruption. Flurry of Blows this. Yo, okay, that's a good upgrade. Liquid Memories. Okay, that's nice. Uh, This might just be really good. Yeah, I think we take this. Shop. What do you got for me, buddy? Uh... Start each combat, draw two additional cards. Every three turns, gain an energy. Um, if I'm gonna remove a card, why am I removing? Oh, regret. Duh, we're removing regret. Yes. Okay. Uh, drawing an extra card, or drawing extra two cards at the start of combat would be pretty nice. Uh. Hmm. Sure. And then this is just good to have because of what my deck is trying to do. Maybe I... do I even take Fasting? Because that works really well with the fact that I'm playing a lot of small things. Uh, nah, I don't want to... I don't like the idea of having the less energy. Uh, where am I going? Elite into campfire, into potential second campfire, into another elite. Uh, I'm gonna heal now. Got these guys, okay. Every combat I'm starting with six energy and like, what, seven cards in my hand? So that's pretty nice. Uh, Alright, let's take out this guy as soon as possible. So, Bonk, Eruption, Consecration, Flurry of Blows. Uh, I didn't think about the fact that I'm going to be stuck in this form. Uh, yeah, start stacking this up. Uh, let's get rid of... Yeah, we're going to do Liquid Memories, I think. And we're gonna get back, uh, well it costs zero, so let's get back Consecration. 12 damage to all enemies. And again, okay good, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're safe. Uh, that said, I still want to do, uh, wait actually, hold on. Get back the energy. Uh, do I just... No, I can't kill this turn, but I can block with... Uh, let's see, that's... Yeah, 15 block, which will be enough. And then let's do Deceive Reality, actually. I take one damage here, oh no. God, that... God, I, Gremlin Horn, so good. It's so fucking good. Uh, strike, Sash Whip, dead. Nice. Ooh, okay. Uh, so I just keep get. I got the thing that lets me not upgrade cards, and then I just keep on getting things that start upgrading shit. That's so good. Uh, if you're in Wrath, apply three vulnerable. Uh, yes. Yes, I want this. Uh, do I even want the campfire here? 
I don't think I do. I think I just take the combat. Oh, these fuckers. I've never seen this layout, actually, with the, the sentry. and Because the cent three sentries is an elite in the previous floor. Uh, okay, let's do... Neither of them are attacking, so that's nice. Uh, this one I think I'm more concerned by because it shuffles bullshit into my deck. Uh, we'll do... Cut through fate. I'm going to draw a card here as well from the ink bottle. Yeah. Oh, uh, god, I'm one damage off from killing this with that hit. That's fine. We'll just kill it there. Alright, um... Screw it, we'll enter Wrath. Why not? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? It's only got 85 health, that's not that bad. Yeah, see, it's not even doing that much damage. Uh, that said, neither am I, and I didn't draw anything that gets me out of Wrath. Uh... So, oops. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just lucky. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Vigilance. Get back the flurry of blows. Crescendo. Get back the Flurry of Blows. Consecrate. Empty Body. Get back the Flurry of Blows. Defend. And we're good. As long as I draw an attack this turn. Yeah, we're good. Uh, another Flurry of Blows? Yeah, because uh, uh, Tranquility is a... Like, all three of these are good options for my deck. But I think I want to be able to double up on the flurries that I'm doing every time, I think. So yeah. Uh, if I run into Time Eater, by the way, it's all over. Uh, I don't care about Mantra, I'll take this. Uh, question mark. Baker Chest. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is actually disgusting for me. Oh my god, okay. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, just please don't be Time Eater. Uh, do I heal here? It's just the elite and then some other stuff. Unless I- do I skip the elite here? No, I, I got it. I, it that's, I have such a strong build, I can take it. I'm gonna recall now, I think, because I think I'm pretty confident I'll be able to just beat the elite easily enough. So I'm, I'm gonna risk it here. Okay, book stabbing, not too bad. Chat Rathel, no! Don't put down that knife! <laughs> uh, get Nirvana set up. Consecrate. Strike. Wait, hold on. Yeah, strike. Uh, defend. 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 Empty body. <laughs> God, that's so much energy. On the starting turn. Got plus two strength already. Uh... Strike, Sash Whip, uh, Defend, Empty Body, yep. Not quite enough to get Shuriken stacked up. I want to be able to get less and learn kill potentially on this. Uh, okay, so... Do I have another way to exit this stance? No. And I don't think I can kill this turn, so I'm gonna do this first. So, flurry of blows, flurry of blows. Uh, yeah, let's do the scrawl now. Oh shoot, actually that gets rid of my flurries. Um, okay. This, I'll keep that on top. Consecrate. Uh, wait, do I, can I just kill? Almost. I just gain my two strength here, so I do. Wait, 20? No, okay, yeah. And I know that something is on top. What was it? It was an empty body. Uh, I, Yeah, I think I take my strength potion. And just do the bonk into... Oh, I don't think I needed to. Maybe? Who knows? I would have been at 
Minus four damage. I don't know. I forgot about the shuriken. And Kuna. Oh my god, wait, this is disgusting. Okay. Uh. Uh. Just getting more attacks to be able to throw out would be pretty decent from Battle Him. Uh, I don't know. Nothing here particularly speaks to me. I'll just skip it. In the temple, open book reeled with cryptic writings. Yep. Uh, that's chat with all there. Yep, we're gonna do this, this, this. We already went through the lore before. Ouch. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one of three random cards into your draw pile. Nice, okay. Unless that was character-specific lore, in which case, oops. Uh, okay, so we'll do... Kill this guy first, I think. Uh, Nirvana, Eruption. Uh, Flurry of Blows. Oh, hello, Flare! It's going pretty well. We had, uh, this is the second run today. The first one, we, uh, made it through the third boss and tried to get through the heart using the key pieces that we picked up, and then died to the heart itself, which is, like, the actual final boss. Uh, but this run, we're doing, uh, Ascension, which means that, uh, we are, like, all enemies are a bit stronger. Oh, no, no, no. The Ascension one just means I run into elites more often. Like, there are more elite enemies on the map. Uh... Yeah, we'll keep this on top. So we'll play Bonk into Bonk. Yeah, that almost killed that. Uh, so yeah, the Watchers thing is that... Uh, let's take that, actually. The Watchers thing is that they have these stances that they can enter. Uh, the two that we're going to have to worry about are uh, Calm and Wrath. Calm is... well, Wrath is you deal and take double damage. Uh, calm is whenever you... like, nothing happens while you're calm, but when you stop being calm, you gain two energy. Uh, so let's do a lot of damage. Uh, we'll enter Wrath, we'll do uh, Lesson Learned here to upgrade, uh, and then there. This current deck we have is incredibly broken, I think. Because uh, it's based around playing a bunch of small, like, cheap cards over and over. And we have Shuriken, which every three attacks I play, I gain a strength. And Kunai, which is every three attacks I play, I gain a dexterity. And I, uh, like, started the game with having an extra free energy every turn. It's just, it's just so busted. There's so much stuff going on here, and none of it is fair. Uh, but sadly, that doesn't. That means I can't use the smithing option at uh, like resting stops. But I happen to pick up a card that lets me just upgrade things by killing stuff anyway. So I'm still able to upgrade cards in my deck. Collector. Okay. Uh, this will be really good for my gremlin horn. Uh, how do I do this? This is this is gonna be a hell of a turn. I just don't know what how exactly I'm gonna do it. Uh. Eruption into Flurry of Blows into Consecrate and Strike into Empty Body into Flurry of Blows into <laughs> Crescendo into Flurry of Blows <laughs> into Defend Ten. Ah, oh, sad. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I think I take this. Uh, let's see. We're gonna apply vulnerable to everything. Uh, God, okay, this is so much damage. Uh, I'm gonna need to do the draw discard thing though, I think. So let's do, uh, yeah, let's drink to get rid of both of these. Uh, that's good. Uh, let's do that. So then, uh, I want to do this in a specific order. There, and then 
because I can't kill anything until I want to redraw. Uh, so now I need to do... damage here. Now, oh wait, no, I ran out of energy. I messed that up real bad. Uh, well, we can recover this. It's okay. Uh, life finds a way. We have the backup of... Uh, do I even... No, I don't. I just want to discard those. Uh, and then... Yeah, Gremlin Horn is disgusting, because it's just any time I kill something, it, g it gives me another energy and draws me a card. Uh, and I can end the stance, and we're all good. Uh, crescendo. I have so much strength and dexterity already. Okay, so... Eruption. Draw a card. Flurry of Blows. Sash Whip. Uh... Indignation, again. Uh, that. You know, let's just drink the... Actually, no, no, I don't need to care about my health that much right now. Uh, yep, I'll take a free attack. Okay, so Flurry of Blows into follow-up into... Oh, they're just dead. <laughs> Uh, draw cards until my hand is... Do I already have that? Yeah, I don't think I want a second one. I think I just skip this. Uh, yeah, honestly. Alright, what do we got here? Runic Pyramid. Ooh, that's... I'm not taking the dome, because I need to be able to see what my enemies are doing. I don't have that memorized yet. Uh, Tiny House might just be good. Being able to hold my hand at the end of turn is nice, though. I might just go with that. Uh... Nah, we'll do Runic Pyramid. Alright, we've got the Shape fellas again this round. Uh, so, I've already got all the key pieces, so I don't need to worry about that. So all I want to do is just run into a bunch of elites, I think. Which this right path lets me do, and there's at least one shop on the way. We're gonna do that path, I think. Unless this path, one, two, three, also shop. Then, eh, either one's fine. Actually, they're both practically the same, except this one has a campfire. No, they both have campfires. Since they're both basically the same, I'll go this side first instead, because it's, there's more options in case I want to diverge. Oh my god, that's just so many cards at the start of the game. Okay, uh... Start with the highest health, and we go down. Wrath. Flurry of Blows. Uh, just Lucky. Get rid of this defend, don't need it this turn. Sash whip. Uh, consecrate. I probably should have done the sh another strike first. Uh, indignation. Deceive reality. Sick. Another flurry of blows, hell yeah! I'll take another flurry of blows in my deck! I just do so much damage. Welp, okay. Uh, this is gonna be another gross turn. Empty body. Flurry of blows. Crescendo. Flurry of blows. Empty body again. Flurry of blows. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, don't care about- uh, no, don't care about any of these. A highly ornamentate, ornamented uh, tomb can be seen on the other side of a floating path. Upon reaching the tomb, you notice a slot for gold coins scratched out with an inscription above it. I don't have a mask. 
Uh, I'm not gonna take a random relic for 290 gold. That's not. Yeah. Uh, I'll go this way. Duck into a small hut. Inside, you find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. Uh. Mm, that's not gonna be. No, I'm not doing pain. Uh, especially because I don't discard cards at the end, so I can't really do curses anymore. Uh, let's upgrade. Uh. Scrawl, I guess? What does Upgrade Flurry of Blows do again? It's just two more damage. That adds up, but I think Scrawl is just better in this case. What's Indignation Upgrade to? Five Vulner... Uh, nah, plus two. Scrawl. You decide uh, to put the Forge to use and clang, 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 improve your arsenal. Nice. Uh, We'll do... Disorder. Let's do the enemy first. Alright, Flurry of Blows. Uh, Vigilance. Flurry of Blows. Empty Body. Flurry of Blows. Scrawl. Flurry of Blows. Eruption. Flurry. Flurry. Upgrade. Turn one kill. <laughs> oh, that upgrade, that, that eruption upgrade is actually huge. I should have just done that myself, but... Uh, this is good. Uh... Okay, uh, I don't have the, the, the card in my hand yet, but that's fine. Uh, we can do... I'll have to take this guy down first anyway. Uh, consecrate... That guy. Draw a card. Uh... Let's see, deal 22 damage to this guy, draw another card. Uh, get lucky. Keep the flurry blows on top. Oh, I actually should have discarded that because then I'd be able to redraw it. Uh, and I also should have played this first. Oops. And and oh wait, never mind. We're good. Uh, do I just take the extra damage now? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Cool. Uh, I don't think I really care about anything else. She will take this. Why not? Weird question, but have all your streams been 60 FPS? Um, I think so. Why? Uh, I know that I've had laggy, like, my model been laggy and such, but uh, right now my thing says 60 FPS down there, and I don't think it's ever been higher or lower than that. Uh, not that I can... I, I, I haven't really kept track. Um, all I know is that I've had some lag issues with my model in the past, uh, but I recently set it so that uh, Ver VTube Studio is, like, a higher priority like processing wise on my computer so hopefully that's slightly fixed. I also don't have animations turned on for like physics on my model so that slightly makes it a bit smoother as well. Uh, that was just bonk. Oh, I should have blocked first, oops. Uh, another Consecrate's pretty good. been stuttering a lot on my end more than I remember. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, it might be on both ends. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Cut through fate. Uh, just lucky. Keep that on there. Uh, Draw a bunch of cards. Uh, Vigilance, another flurry. Uh, empty body, another flurry. Uh, I should have Nirvana at some point. Oops. 
I guess it doesn't matter since they're not attacking yet. Oh god, I'm gonna keep all these cards in my hand. Uh, sorry, bless. <laughs> Just curious? Yeah, but, okay. The video stat says normal to the things to your connection. Okay, yeah, that's good. But yeah, it might be- if it's like the whole stream that's stuttering, then yeah, that's probably on your end. But if it's just my model, then that is probably on my end. Uh... Bonk. Oh my god, this is so much stuff. Uh... Giant head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh god, I have to clear out my hand to like... This is how much shit I've got, because I... Enter this state, I need to play these two again. And then, just play as many attacks as I can here. Let's, oh, I should have made them vulnerable, actually, too. Uh, and then... Empty Body. And then Flurry of Blows. And then Crescendo. And then more Flurry of Blows. <laughs> and then... Yeah, okay, so we'll play this. Uh, don't care about any of these. Bro is really saying Stone Mo Maui Head, or, or Moai, however it's pronounced. God. He really do be counting, though. Uh, well, let's see. Flurry into Sash Whip into Lesson Learned. Oh, hey, it upgraded itself. Nice. Whetstone. Upgrade two random attacks. Nice! <laughs> I, I, I want to note, I'm not allowed to manually upgrade cards this run. Like, th this item doesn't let me do it, I've had it since the very start of the run. But I just keep upgrading things with, like, other cards. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my god, is that the mason jars? Oh my god, hi. I'm a big fan. Uh, we're currently in a very disgusting run of the Watcher. I had a run that got to the heart but then failed earlier, it was a uh, pressure points deck. But this one, I'm going Flurry of Blows, and I have Shuriken and Kunai. So every time I play three attacks, I get just get extra dexterity and strength. And also Gremlin Horn, and also free card draw sometimes, and also extra energy and card draw at the start of the game, and during bosses, and always. <laughs> and it's just so disgusting. Uh I don't think I need another card right now. And I'm not allowed to forge at rest. I'm trying I'm trying Ascension 1 here. Uh this is my first time doing an Ascension run on stream. But, yeah, so, <laughs> I'm not allowed to smith because of this the, the starting relic I got, but my deck is mostly upgraded anyway because I got lesson learned and I've just been able to kill things with it. <laughs> and I already have all the key pieces too, so... Yeah, and I've got Runic Pyramid, and I've got the Codex and stuff, I've got, like, uh, extra resistance to vulnerable, I heal everything, at the, or I heal at the start of every combat, I've got extra strength, it's actually disgusting. <laughs> oh no, it's Nemesis. Uh, oh, I didn't draw the Flurry of Blows yet. Unfortunate. Uh, we'll do Nirvana. Do Eruption into Follow Up. Into Sash Whip. Into Consecrate and Strike. And I want to hold on to this block, I think, for next turn, potentially. So, yeah. Also, that's almost half it. That, you know, that's literally half their health in the first turn, by the way. Uh... Not the burns. Okay, they're intangible now, though, so I, I do gotta be careful. Uh... Let's just scry a bit. Uh, actually we'll take, yeah, we'll have both of those stay on top. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I'm doing, like, stuff like that, so I'm just gonna block. And I'll just hold on to this for next turn, because I have Runic Pyramid, because this run is broken. Yeah, no, this run is absolutely gross. <laughs> I went from, like, a really, really sus, uh, fucking, what's it called? A pressure pr point run, and then this one happened. Also, hello, Solari. Welcome. Wait, that's a cute emote. Who's that? What's that from? Oh, Twitch Global. Okay. OMG, is the Solari was taken. Uh. Uh. They're not intangible anymore, right? Okay, yeah, good. Uh, flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. Shendo indignation. 
Flurry of Blows, Flurry of Blows. <laughs> Lesson learned, so I can upgrade more cards even though I'm not allowed to. <laughs> Bronze scales, because this run needed to be more busted, and I'm going against the heart so that eventually, so that'll be even better. Fucking hell. <laughs> OMG, is that Mason Charles Master LOR player? Dude, I was actually I was talking about how um you know one of the main troubles of being like uh oh my god, this run. Okay. One of the main problems of being a variety streamer is that it's really difficult to um like retain viewers. After, like it's it's easy to get a shtick as like oh you're the guy who plays Slate Aspire that's what I'm here for, uh, but you know it's hard to transfer to other games. Also, just look at how much shit I get to do on my first turn, by the way. Um, so also it's the giant head again. Uh, but basically, point is that uh, Slay Aspire I feel like has opened me up to be have like an easier time with that in the future because um, like. I don't have to, like, I can transition pretty quickly into uh, either roguelikes or card games, both of which I want to do anyway, because I'm going to go through, like, a bunch of different roguelikes and then also a bunch of different card games, and it happens that this turns out to be a good starting point. Uh, you just, like, small streamer vibe, you'll stick around? Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, no, I, I love, like, sticking around with, like, small streamers especially just because it's easier to, like, just hang out and chat with everyone there. Uh, let's just draw my entire deck here. Uh, Flurry of Blows into Sash Whip, and to draw more cards into this, and then, uh, I guess Empty Body, into Flurry of Blows, into Crescendo, into Flurry of Blows. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yep, I'll take another Crescendo. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely challenging, like already just uh, to grow. But then you know, uh, trying to handle the quote-unquote meta or whatever is also difficult. But I think I'll, I don't know. I think I have a decent starting point. Um, let's see, what order do I need to do? So let's do crescendo again. Oh my god, I'm gonna be able to do empty body <laughs> into flurries. Do I do? Enough damage. Okay, I'll do crescendo into. Uh, I have six strength, eighty-nine damage. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Ooh, and I. Okay, so I start each combat with one strength and one dexterity and three thorns and seven cards and six energy if it's against a boss. Holy hell. Uh, skip. But yeah, I wanted to like. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to think of... I think the next roguelike I'll play will probably be Hades. Just because it's a really good roguelike from what I understand and from what everyone's telling me to play. Uh, this is kind of disgusting. Yeah, no, a kinda is an understatement. Uh, let's do... Let's take out the... I guess this guy first. Uh, into an eruption. Into... Let's just play my Consecrates. Uh... I probably could have blocked more of that with the armor, so I wouldn't take the damage there. I think I'm about to go to a, uh... I think I'd rather take the Liquid Memories than the Power Potion. But yeah, and then as far as card, game go, uh, card games go, I want to do, like... Um... I mean, eventually I will do Master Duel. Uh, almost certainly. Uh, I'm not doing Orrery. Uh, this is, eh. Or Callum might be good. Uh, Empty Fist might just be good. I'm gonna do card removal first. What do I want to get rid of? I guess I can just get rid of one of my defends. Or maybe Nirvana. I think I get rid of Nirvana. It's not useful enough. And then I take the... This, I guess. And the Empty Fist, because both of those are good. I'll enjoy your reading stream when I play, when you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Dude, I, I can't believe... I, I made a tweet about this a while ago. But I recently learned that Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't have a comprehensive rulebook. 
It's all just like rulings are on individual cards, and you just kind of have to go off of precedent. And that is insane to me, as someone who comes from like magic. Uh, uh, I want to be able to heal to go through just in general. I think I get. Let me just take the the free relic because I I I will absolutely decimate this boss. <laughs> like, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go crescendo, and then we're just gonna try to play out my hand as much as I can into scrawl. Yeah, that's the good shit. Okay. Flurry, into flurry, into fucking, I don't know. Uh, click the highlighted cards and hope you win. Yeah, that's how, what I heard the strat is for uh, Hearthstone as well. You just uh, play the green cards. Uh, by two weak. We'll do... How much energy do I need for this turn? Wait, hold on. I can do... Oh my god. Uh, calm. Into flurry, into flurry. Into... Empty body. Into flurry, into flurry. Into crescendo. Flurry, flurry. Uh... Strike... Empty fist. Flurry, flurry. Okay, that's turn one. We'll take another flurry. <laughs> oh my god. You know something interesting? I, I looked at my uh, stream stats. Like, because uh, Twitch just did its a new, like... They have a new thing for their stat page now. That has a bit more details for certain things. Uh... Fight's over, by the way. Um, two turn. But the... And I was looking through... It says, like, what games my viewers most commonly watch. And, like, it was... The top one is Overwatch 2, which that makes sense. Everyone is uh, streaming that right now, so... Uh, Flex Potion has got to be better than Block here. Uh, with this deck. I'll take another Crescendo. <laughs> uh, heal here, I guess, because I have no other option. But, okay, so I was looking at... So Overwatch 2, that was at the top, because, okay, yeah, everyone's playing it. It's a new game that's hot right now. Um, and then I saw it was like, and it was just chatting, I think, which it makes sense because that's like a pretty common category in general, uh, for VTubers especially. And then there was like Valorant, which sure, I guess a lot of the people I like hang out with play that. And then below that was like Master Duel because like probably from the big Leah raid that came by, but also because it's just generally popular as well. Um, and then... And I forget what else was there, but like, no, almost none of it was relevant to anything that I actually play. <laughs> and it's like a bunch of FPSs, which is games that I distinctly don't play because it's just not my genre. And then, yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we're gonna see if we can kill Donu in one- Actually, no, we're gonna focus on Dekka because they're attacking, but this guy's gonna grow strength, so... We're gonna see what we can do in one turn. Uh... Shendo... Flurry... Uh, follow up. Just lucky. Uh, yes, I will take the indignation in a moment. Strike. Defend. Scrawl. Apply vulnerable to everyone. Oh, right. Duh, they have the thing. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna wait to do consecration until the end of this turn, I think. Uh, I'm gonna do Vigilance now, into Flurry, into Flurry, and then uh, Crescendo, into Flurry, into Flurry, into Consecrate now, into... Uh, does this work? Empty Fist. Eruption. Flurry. Consecrate. Empty body. Inf I just got an achievement on Steam for infinity. What is that? Play 25 cards in a single turn. Oh my god. <laughs> in his Valorant stream when? I'll probably, like, here's the thing. I'm gonna end up playing some sort of, like... Because one, of, one of the other ideas I have... Like, uh, one of my goals from, like, my debut slides and whatnot was that I want to do, uh, like, 
a bunch of like all of the like VTuber trend games, uh, like things that end up getting really popular or whatever in VTubing for some reason. Uh, how much card do I have in hand? I think this works. Yeah, so bonk, bonk, sash, whip, uh, strike. Just two turned Act 3 boss, by the way. Um, <laughs> with no damage. So, um, but yeah, I want to do all the VTuber trends, which means I probably at some point, if I, I will probably do at least, like, if I end up going through with that plan, I'll inevitably end up having to play, like, Valorant and Apex and, like, Overwatch 2 and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna reread this again. Uh, 900, okay, that might be the highest I've had so far. I don't know how, what this damage number means here. I don't think it's total damage done. I think it's something based on the quality of your deck or how well you did against a fight or something like that. But I think I have a significantly better chance of beating the heart with this deck than I did with my last run. I tried Valorant once though, whenever it was like first came out in beta or whatever. It was fine, it's just not my genre of game, you know. Oh, I yeah, can't do anything here. Uh well. Shopping spree. What we got? Nothing I can really afford. There. Uh I think I just want to remove a card, probably. Um, what are we going to get rid of? Lesson learned isn't going to be relevant anymore, I think, so we can probably get rid of that. I mean, it'll already exhaust itself naturally. Uh, I just don't want to draw it, though, I think. Yeah, we can get rid of lesson learned. And then we can take another empty body. Or maybe another. Uh, what are the potions? Two strength. Uh, I think my other ones are better. Actually, no, I think the. Would I rather have empty body or. What do I have in my deck already? I've already got two empty bodies. I think I've, I'm fine. Flex potion's already really good, though, for these big combo turns I'm doing. So I think I just let this be. I think I just passed. Alright, to spear, Sword and Spear Boy. Goop monsters. Okay, well, Flurry of Blows in opening hand is nice. Uh, I'm going to take out the Spear first, I guess. Did I ever play Ruined King? No, I didn't, actually. Uh, I probably should. Because, like, you know, RPG style thing. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna do... What order do I do this in? I think I do Vigilance after this. Uh, follow up. Uh, vigilance. Flurry. Scrawl. Flurry. Sash Whip, I guess. Uh, crescendo, flurry, flurry. Uh, another strike. Uh, oh god, I'm one, I'm one attack away from being able to one shot with a bunch of things. Uh, here, let's see. Consecrate. Um. Cut through fate. Uh, the other consecrate. Well, it's free free damage basically. So yeah, we'll take that. Uh, no longer surrounded. That's nice. Consecrate. Uh, empty fist. Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. Eruption. Oh my god! I I one turn this guy. Holy shit! Okay. Start each combat with ten block. That's nice. Uh. I don't think I've ever one turn killed that mini boss before. <laughs> like, this is actually probably the craziest run I've ever had. Uh. Be a fun stream game? Yeah, I mean, if, especially since I'd be going in blind, that could be pretty fun. Uh. 
Oh, no flurry blows in my opening hand. That sucks. Uh, let's see. Get uh, just lucky. Oh, there it is. Wait, I can just discard it to this, and then I'll be able to... Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Uh, and starting combat with the block lets me, you know, handle the fact that I'm taking damage from the heart. Uh, so, crescendo. Flurry of blows. Strike. Uh... Empty Fist, Flurry of Blows, Vigilance, Flurry of Blows, draw a card, Empty Body, Flurry of Blows, Scrawl, uh, Eruption, oh my god, uh, I'm gonna, I'm running out of damage, or running out of uh, energy here, but in one turn, right? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I'll hold off the Consecrate for another turn, I think. Actually, no, I'll do it now while I have the block and such. Uh, I'll take another Crescendo, please. I'm gonna overdraw here, actually. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Flurry of Blows, Sash Whip, uh, let's see, Empty Body, draw some cards, Flurry of Blows, Flurry of Blows, uh, I don't have a way to exit the stance if I go into Crescendo now, so I need to be careful. So for once I'm gonna actually have to play my defensive cards. <laughs> Uh, oh no, I'm gonna take three damage here. What if I- wait, do I have anything I could- I- oh, I probably could have done something with, uh, Vigilance. Uh, wait, actually, I still can with Liquid Memories. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Vigilance. Flurry of Blows, Flurry of Blows. Uh, and then I can Liquid Memories again after this here. Uh, to go back into vigilance mode. To calm. Flurry of blows, flurry of blows. Slime. Okay. Now, problem is that wound is never leaving my hand <laughs> because I have Runic Pyramid. Uh, actually, the same thing goes for the other curses, I think. Yeah. Oh, never mind. This one's fine. Um, but I will just have some of these in my hand for the rest of the fight. Uh, let's cut through fate. Uh, well, I'd rather have the zero cost crescendo, uh, which I will play now. Flurry of blows, flurry of blows. I'm going to play one of my defense now, just stop taking damage from this. Follow up. Oh, that I, I needed to play it after an attack. Oops. Uh, consecrate. Uh, defend. Defend. Uh, this hurts, but not that bad. Uh, empty mind might actually be pretty huge. Oh good, at least the other, other one was discarded. Okay. Oh, that's right, I have thorns! <laughs> oh my god, so they took as much damage as I did from that, just raw. Uh, oh no, I have less energy, oops. Uh, well, cut through fate. Uh, I'll take the crescendo. I don't have any of the things in my discard this turn, so. Uh, consecrate. Uh, empty mind. Flurry of blows. Sash whip. Eruption, flurry of blows. Oh, dead. I I wasn't even looking at the damage. Okay. Holy shit. I had so much more to go that run. <laughs> Holy hell. That was that's so crazy. I still had a flex potion in there too. <laughs> this run was actually stupid. Like the the kunai and the shuriken was absurd. Oh wait, we get lore here. The watch uh, watcher punches through the heart. Is that kind of? Ascending up. 
breaking the top of the spire. Did I do it? Did I slay the spire? Look at all those eyes. I'm being watched. GG's, let's go. Yeah, no, that was crazy. That's uh, also the first heart win on the stream, and also the first ascension win on the stream. And beta card art unlocked. That's the best part, honestly. Uh, I'm 1 XP away. You're kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> 1 XP away from the next unlock. Oh, oh, ooh, it's my fa it's my favorite watcher card. It's so stupid, but it's literally so you play you pay one energy to shuffle something into your deck, and then you pay two energy to shuffle another thing. And then Omega, I forget if it it's the reward or if it's something else, but I think it's just like a fuck ton of damage. Uh but yeah. It's just the most absurd slow win condition, but I love it in like super slow decks. Um C -c -c combo yeah, god, that was so much shit. Holy hell. Like, look at these relics! <laughs> look at this shit! I, like, hold on, let, look, let me... Oh, I can't open my deck right now. I'll, I'll, I'll pull up the, the post screen. Uh, oh, hold on. Now what? Has it been done? The spire sleeps. And so shall I. Oh no, Niao. Is it finally over? Well, apparently not, because we can play again. But imagine if the game is like, okay, game's over, Spire's done, uh, uninstalled. But here, wait, let me let me look at the fucking... Uh, where is it? Hold on. Statistics, uh, run history. Okay. I just want to remind you, I was not allowed to manually upgrade cards this run. And I only had one, two, three, four, five unupgraded cards. And that was just because of fucking... Like, random events, like, pickups, and, uh, what's it called? The fucking, I think I got rid of it, but the one that lets you upgrade whenever you kill something with it. Uh, but holy hell, <laughs> that was a run. Uh, so, I don't know if I, how much more Slay Aspire I'll stream, or if I just move on to the next roguelike. Maybe I'll do some more Ascension runs, but, uh, I don't know. But I've done, I've done every run, I've done every character, had a win with them, I've gone to the heart and killed it with at least one character, and I've done an Ascension level 1 win. So who knows, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably stream more Slay Aspire at some point. I just don't know if it'll be what I immediately go to next. Because I think I might switch it up to Hades, and then, and also, um, I don't know if I'll go into Legends of Runeterra immediately for card games, or if I'll go to like Magic Arena, or uh, Hearthstone, or fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so... I think that's a good note to end this stream on, uh, as I pop back over here. Because, uh, holy hell, that was one hell of a goddamn run, and I don't think I'll be able to top that tonight. Plus, I'm trying to actually, for once, finally, hopefully, fix my sleep schedule. Um, at least somewhat. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, crazy runs today. Uh, Path of Champions. Ooh, yeah, Path of Champions is a thing now. That's like, I, I haven't actually played that mode yet for Runeterra. Uh, but that said, I think if I was going to play Path of Champions, I would probably just play Slay the Spire, <laughs> right? Like, uh, like, it has its own appeal, of course, but like, you know, if I'm in, in that sort of mood, uh, Slay the Spire is probably the game I would go to first. But yeah, and I think for the other games I play, including like the card games, I'll probably try to do it on like a fresh start account. Not only so that I'll be able to have Inus no Kana as the name rather than my actual like normal username, but um, just because to give each of them like an even shot whenever I'm trying them out. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that said, we should find someone to raid because it is nearly 1 a.m. So uh, who's online right now? Uh, we got a couple people that I follow. Uh, on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, br briefly uh, crash my stream for a moment by opening Chrome. Oh God! Oh fuck! The humanity. Oh, uh, oh! Is it gonna start chugging? Let's see. Eastern time dweller. Yeah, I mean, you say that, but I might as well have the sleep schedule of someone in like JST, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so watch this. Watch it. You want to see a magic trick? I'm gonna make my model fucking die. <laughs> okay, watch this with one click of a button. I'm gonna open Twitch.tv and oh oh oh, hold on. Let's see. It's loading my last stream, or it's loading my current stream. Uh, and my model. Ooh ooh, uh, it's chugging. It's trying real hard. <laughs> My, uh... That's funny, is my task manager isn't freaking out about anything. It is just... Fucking... Ooh, ooh, oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... So let's see. Who do I want to, who do I want to go raid? Uh... Got a couple options. Uh... Yo, he doing a lag. Yeah. It's amazing how much, like, CP... Or how much, like, RAM... Twitch or whatever, or specifically Twitch on Chrome takes, uh, like holy hell. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you guys want? Okay, you guys want to go over to a uh, to a somewhat to a Tetris gamer, or do you want to go over to some art stuff? What are we feeling? And actually, the Tetris gamer might. Okay, you know, the Tetris gamer is doing a community night, so it's like open lobby stuff. Okay, you're just an old man. Yeah, an old man with like rickety fucking model. <laughs> Tetris pog. It's okay. It's close enough. Test Tetris. That's, uh, the Tetris exam. Uh... Yeah, screw it. We're gonna... Actually, you know what? This is even better. Um, we're gonna do... Uh... So, the person we're gonna be raiding is a literal clown. Uh, so... We're going from... Hey, 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 flare, flare, flare. Tetris players do crack? I'll have you know, I have never touched crack once in my life. Um... But even so, people will say I am cracked at Tetris. Um, although I am kind of washed, actually. <laughs> I'm very much washed as of late. I, uh, but yeah. So, yeah, let, let, let's go raid a fellow clown, shall we? Uh, am I sure about? Yeah, no, I am sure. I am very sure uh, about everything I just said. Uh, actually, now I think about it, we have Tetris on the shelf back, back there. On my, we got the little like collectible Tetris lamp thing. So yeah, let's let's go raid. Uh, we're gonna raid Bonk Du. Uh, she's super fun. Uh, does a lot of like community night stuff. Really, really good art. Uh, I think she designed her own model as well. Uh, so let's go pay her a visit. Uh, and I will come up with a proper. I, I'll come up with a raid message here. Uh, in just a moment, while we're in the the ending screen. But yeah, thank you everyone for popping by, thank you for watching that hell of a fucking run. I don't know if I'll ever get a run that good again in any game, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, thank you for popping by tonight, and have a great night everyone. And go tell the fellow clown that I said hi. Woo, farewell. <laughs>